All right, welcome to Google Photo Scan, where you can convert printed photos into digital copies of them. Today we'll be going over a brief history of digital scanning, some pros and cons of digital scanning, what Google Photo Scan is, how to use Google Photo Scan, some alternatives to Google Photo Scan, and then we'll have a live demo after that. So the first scanner that was developed for a computer use was a drum scanner. It was built in 1957 at the United States National Bur Bureau of Standards. It was um, developed with the help of a team that was led by Russell A. Kurtzk. And uh, the first image scanned was a five centimeter square photograph of his three month old son Walden, which you can see on the left. Okay, so why you might want to convert to digital documents. Some of the reasons that you might want to convert a printed picture into a digital copy might be that there would be less paper cluttering. Um, it'd be easier to store so that you won't lose them. And it's easy to collaborate with others since it's much easier to share a document online than to go to someone and give them a piece of paper. And you can get higher quality than regular JPEG or PNG image files. Some of the disadvantages of digital scanning are that some documents might take up a lot of memory space. Um, some, Im some images might lose quality when you scan them or process them. Um, high quality scanners can get expensive and it might take a long time to scan multiple documents. So what is Google PhotoScan? Google PhotoScan is a free Google Photos companion app that lets users scan and digitize print photos on the fly. So not only can PhotoScan capture print photos in digital form, but it can also automatically correct edges adjust perspective, and remove glare and reflections. It's available on iOS or Android, and even though it's free, it might require some in-app purchases to unlock premium features, and the prices typically range from zero to five dollars a month. Okay, so now we'll be talking about how to use PhotoScan. Um, so first you need to download the PhotoScan app, which you can do by opening the App Store or the Play Store and typing in Google Scan in the search bar. Um, after that, click on PhotoScan by Google Photos, which is the left photo on the very left. That's what it looks like. And then you hit install. Um, so after that, uh, click on the app to launch it. And then there'll be a short video to illustrate how to scan photos. Um, you press start scanning to walk through the process. You uh, select allow to grant permission for photo scan to take and record videos and to access photos, medias and other files on your device. So on the right, the first picture is uh, the start scanning button. The one after that is the one that allows PhotoScan to access your photos and medias and other things. And then after that, you position the photo within the frame as shown in the picture. To start scanning, you um, press the white circle button to take a picture of your physical photo or document, um, move your phone camera over the white dots that will show up to get a glare-free picture. 
Uh, once the scan is complete, there'll be a green check mark on the screen to let you know that the scan has been captured. Um, click rotate to rotate your picture according to your preference. If it like was upside down or something, you could turn it back right side up. You can also edit or crop the photo. And after you're done, you can click the share button to upload the file to a storage space or to social media. So once you've captured and adjusted your picture, it's automatically stored in your device's storage area or on Google Photos. But um, remember that all images that are stored on Google Photos also count towards your 15 gigabytes of free storage allotment. And to see your scanned photos, you can go to the Google Photos app on your smartphone or tablet, or you can go to the website HTTPS photos.google.com on your laptop. That's a webinar on how to use Google Photos. Uh, so some tips for scanning photos are to, or you can click the lightning button to turn the flash on and off. So this might be useful if you're in like a dark room so you can actually see what you're doing. Um, you can click on the eraser looking tool to turn glare enhancer on and off to improve the quality of your picture. When you scan photos, you should put them on a contrasting background to ensure that the image is captured correctly. So say you have like a white paper, it would probably work best to put that on like a dark wood or like a black table so that the device can see the difference between them clearly. If you're scanning on a rug, Put a white sheet of paper between the photo and the rug because the rug texture might cause inaccuracies in the scan. And use a well-lit area to capture scans and don't worry about the glare. Photo scan will remove the glare during the processing automatically. So these are some alternates to Google Photo Scam. So these basically perform the same thing as Google Photo Scam. There's Cam Scanner, there's Adobe Scan, there's Simple Scan, and then there's Microsoft Lens PDF Scanner, and uh, there is a webinar on scanning apps. Some premium features. All of the premium mentioned apps are free themselves, but unlocking premium features requires in-app purchases, and some of those include combining or editing pictures, um, converting your pictures to different file formats like PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs. The, you can change the HD resolution image quality. You might get extra cloud space for more documents, uh, removing the watermark, which is like a somewhat transparent like thing, a text thing that basically just shows a what app you used for it, and uh, e-signatures. And yeah, time for a live demo. So I'll be doing the live demo. So I'm just going to walk through the app. There we go. So I'm just going to go to the App Store and look up the PhotoScan app. So the second one on the list is PhotoScan by Google Photos. So I already have the app downloaded, but if I didn't, there would be an option to download here. Um, since it's already downloaded, I'm just going to open it. Um, since I already downloaded it and went through those introductory um, messages at the beginning, I've already provided the app with access to my camera, access to all of my photos. And then it brought me to this page, which is the main scanning page. So I have this book from the University of Toronto and it's on carpet. So um, like it was suggested in the presentation, I'm going to try to create a less textured background. So I'll just use a clipboard that I have. And it's simply you just press that button in at the bottom, the white button with the blue circle. 
And then what you want to do is you want to, there's a circle in the middle that's transparent. Uh, and then you want to move that circle over the white circles on the screen. So there's one in the bottom left, one on the top left, one on the top right, and one on the bottom right. And then once I've scanned, a green check mark will show up and then it will process all of those photos and combine them into one photo. And then at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see that the photo that I took um, is there or the scan that I completed is there. So I click on it. Um, you can see it didn't do the best job probably because my lighting is not the best. But once you've completed your scan, oh, there it is. So that's the full image. So it already cropped it for me. But if the cropping was not to my liking, I can adjust it by, again, there are white circles um, at each of the corners. Um, and you just tap it with your finger and adjust it. And then you let go when you're done. You can also reset it if you made a mistake. And then you'll just click done. And that will just save the image again. Um, you can see that it's upside down, so I wanna fix that. I'm just going to rotate it a couple of times. So at the bottom left of the screen, there's a rotate icon. Kind of looks like an arrow that's pointing to the left and a square or a diamond representing the document that you're rotating. So I just press that twice and now it's the right way up. So now that I have this image, I wanna share it with my friends or my family. So at the top right of the screen, there's a share button and it looks like a square with an arrow pointing up and that'll just pop up all of the options for sharing on your phone. So you can share it via AirDrop if someone else has an iPhone or via email, or you can just send it over WhatsApp or Messenger. So I'm just going to click the X. Then there are some other options at the top right. So the three dots, they're not super important, but you can send feedback to the app developers if you're having any issues or if you need any additional help, this is where you can go to get help as well. So that's the second option, both at the bottom of the screen. So I'm just going to tap in the middle of the screen to minimize that menu. And I'm going to go back to the scanning page. So I'll tap the back button twice. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention from the presentation is there is a button here. Uh, it uh, looks like a thunderbolt or a lightning bolt. And if it has a cross over it, it means that the flash is off. If it doesn't, then the flash is on. So uh, depending on your lighting situation, you might not want to use that. Um, and then the other one also just helps you to kind of correct your image. Um, but again, Google Photo Scan does a good job on its own of processing your image. So I think that's all that we covered in the presentation.